I'm not trying to scare nobody, but what if we are in Area 51? And Area 51 is the exit, which is why we can't go there. I'ma pack my bags and I'll meet you there. No, seriously, get your stuff. <sighs> you guys, this is the third time I'm filming this video. I filmed it all the way kind of through the first time and it was just, it just wasn't happening. Went in for the second time and I don't know. I don't, I don't even know, but it's been a day apparently. So I'm going to attempt to do this all over again. So let's see if third time's the charm. All right. First up, this is like deja vu times three now, but I got this pitcher and I actually got it to water my ferns in the backyard. Yes, Dollar Tree actually does sell watering cans, but I could not find one when I was at the store, but I did find this in the like party section. Um, and I said, you know what? This is gonna be just fine. And I actually like that it's clear. So I'm gonna use this to water my ferns. Then I found this really cute jar and it they did one similar to this and it was a little bit taller like a mason jar i found the shorter version i'm wondering if i've already bought this one before though i buy so much from dollar tree it's insane i have my own personal store here but what i love about this is that it says homemade it's kind of hard to see yeah it says homemade right there and i love the black lid detail and then you can just put an led candle or a tea light candle in here I think this has a very nice farmhouse look, modern farmhouse to me. I'm gonna be putting this upstairs, either in the upstairs bathroom or the media room. I'm not sure, but I did decorate the upstairs guest bathroom in a modern, modern farmhouse feel. So I'll link it down below, which reminds me, I didn't even mention this in the first 85 times I tried to film this video, but I do have an announcement to make. I'm gonna be making even a, another minor tweak to my channel, which by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did update my channel banner. So go check it out, I hope you guys love it. I wanted to do something very fun and vibrant and summery. Um, so I definitely did uh, make changes there. But I've decided that I am actually gonna move my decorating videos off of this main channel to my vlogs. Uh, I've, I've always been making little edits here and there with my main channel and you know as I keep growing my 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 audience and I just want for my main channel to have a kind of one direction if you will so this channel is now going to be mo pretty much hauls so if you're into that you're going to see Dollar Tree hauls and home decor hauls Amazon hauls Anything Holland girl, you're gonna find it here. So that is what we're gonna focus on. That's why I kind of stopped doing book reviews and planner videos. It was just a lot of things. And I know a lot of you come to this main channel actually for my hauls. Um, they're the videos that uh, gets the most views from you guys. So I wanna definitely um, keep it to that area, if you will because it's very important to me why you subscribe to me in the first place and most of it shows that it's from my haul videos and when i throw up like cleaning videos which i recently just did and it kind of like sparked me to kind of rethink the direction of this main channel um yeah i i think i've decided that that's where we're gonna be headed here so don't forget to subscribe over on my vlog channel because that's where you're gonna see the cleaning videos the vlogs the lifestyle stuff uh, me decorating for this kitchen and my bathroom and the guest bedroom which is gonna be coming soon that's now gonna be moved to the vlog channel so it's linked down below if you need to go click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any videos um, that's also where I'm going to be decorating for the holidays now too. Um, this channel again is going to be hauls, but there are going to be DIYs on here as well because this is my Dollar Tree main space, if you will. But decorating and holidays and all of that, it's now going to be moved to that channel. So anyways, 
where are we? I've only shown you two items. So I found another cute coffee mug. I really did not think that they were going to give us the same mugs that we've seen, but get, but do new font and text. So I'm really happy because it makes me wonder, okay, well, it definitely has the Dollar Tree logo. So I just wish they would put out new stuff more often with these mugs. Sometimes with mugs, I feel like we don't see a quick enough turnaround time of new items. I don't know, does anyone else kind of agree with that? This says must have coffee. There were two other options that I saw to choose from, but I actually didn't like them. They weren't done very well. It's kind of like sloppy print work. Even this one kind of doesn't look even. Like this one, I just don't know. It's kind of like at an angle, but it doesn't look like they did it on purpose, I suppose, but it's still, I still loved it. I love this REM detail, very modern farmhouse again to me. You can make a really cute coffee station um, collecting some of these gorgeous mugs from Dollar Tree, which is what I'm gonna be doing with some of them. Um, but anyways, this was the only one that I liked. I found some candle holders with the frost. Really pretty, but you can also see there's some sloppy details. So make sure that when you are looking at these, if they you know, are of any interest to you that you're checking all of the detail there. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I found another gorgeous farmhouse decor piece. I've never seen Dollar Tree do something so beautiful with the cross before. They had other options to choose from as well, but this one was my favorite. I loved the wood and then the, the second layer of the galvanized. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. The other options that they had they had different color wood like blue and then they had like a burlap like little ribbon tied in a bow in the center they had different options but this one was my favorite the other colors just didn't match my i guess aesthetic for the house okay let's go over here i picked up some more of these rubber bands i love these they're a dollar fantastic price i use them because my hair is super thin uh, they also have these in the colors that match like natural hair color. So blonde, brown, black. I should have grabbed that one. I don't know why I went with the clear because I don't actually want to see that. I want to just, you know, so. But I'll go back and get another pack. I got this clear cutting board. You're gonna see this in an upcoming organization video, which is still also gonna be tied to this channel. So the the anything that's Dollar Tree related in terms of DIYs, hauls, and specific, like hacks or any of that, still gonna be here. So you will see this in an upcoming video soon. I found a cute little journal. Dollar Tree did this not too long ago, but I don't have this one in my collection. The journal has a maroon color, which is interesting. You don't really see this color that often at Dollar Tree. And then you get one little sticker layer. Um, yeah, that's in this little, it's inside this little wrapping. And you, then you just take, you peel off the wrapping. It's not part of the actual notebook. And then the notebook, is just plain, but it's the little sticker sheet set. Look at that coffee. So cute, really gorgeous, awesome for a dollar. If you're new to my channel, hi. I collect pretty much everything from Dollar Tree. It is a thing for me. Uh, and you guys, when I mentioned this before, you guys checked me hard and you're like, oh, you forgot this, this, this. Y'all are hilarious, because it's true. I collect gift bags and bows and notepads and journals and pens and wall decals and stickers and it's just, from Dollar Tree, but where am I even headed with this? Why am I exposing myself? But I found some more magnetic list pads. This one's really cute. I love just the simple pink detail of this. Um, this one says Taco about a craving, really fun. I really want a cheeseburger. I posted on my Instagram the other night or last night that I really wanted a cheeseburger, still haven't gotten it. And now seeing it with a chocolate shake, uh, need it. And then this one was really pretty too. I love the bee one. Bees are so beautiful. If I were to probably collect anything, you know how some people love pigs or turtles or frogs? If I was a teacher, um, not that teachers are the only ones who like, who do that, but if, if I had a classroom, I probably would decorate in bees. I don't know. It's just a thing for me.
I think it's really pretty. I do want to point out, not that this necessarily means anything, but Dollar Tree started doing this. This is what we're used to, and this is what I think we're going to be getting soon. Which, you know what? As long as it still has the same strength hold against a fridge or a cabinet or whatever that's magnetic, I don't really care. I mean, yeah, use less material if you have to, but I just wanted to point that out. Okay, I got one Father's Day handmade card. This was my favorite. You guys, their handmade cards are everything. I feel like more people don't know about it and they should because it's truly shocking how good they are. This one has a brown envelope, which I really love. And the Mr. Fix It is really cute. I love the message, even the message is brown. There's just so much detail that Dollar Tree puts into these that I so appreciate. I found another hard candy product and it is this, um, what is it? A mechanical gel eyeliner in the color Midnight. And apparently it a, has a 12 hour stay. I don't know about that. We'll, we'll definitely see. Um, definitely gonna be reviewing this. And I actually really love that the color is blue because I do wanna wear blue eyeliner this summer for some reason. I wanna wear it underneath my uh, waterline here. I don't know if it, there was black or brown. This was all that I saw, but it's hard candy. Hard candy at Dollar Tree. What is happening? Why? Um, then I found some cute books. This is also something you need to know about if you're new to the Dollar Tree game. Their books are excellent. One, they're a dollar. Two, the illustration and pictures are so vibrant and beautiful. And three, they are always putting out new books. This one is Gulliver's Travels to Lilliput. And I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, so I'm sorry. But the illustration is just so, so good. So I got that one, the Three Billy Goats Gruff. Look at that troll. Look at that troll. Hmm, interesting. Treasure Island, this one is my favorite. Definitely love Treasure Island. So this one is a must for me. Uh, Puss in Boots, super cute. Look at the cute little castle. I mean, look at those vibrant pictures. It's just crazy that they're a dollar. Um, and the other thing, you know, I've mentioned this before, but you know, when they're kids, sometimes they can really tear these books up. You know, they don't, they're still working on their hand-eye coordination. And if they mess up a dollar book, who cares? You know, um, I also got a non-slip rug underlay. I'm hoping this is going to work. I'll insert a, a video to see if it does, but I need this in my guest bathroom downstairs. I have a white rug. It keeps moving around everywhere. And yeah, so I saw this and said, oh, you know what? Let's, let's give it a go. I also found the Sassy and Chic Eye Beauty Set. They also sell the mascara wands in another packaging, like a bunch of them. I recently hauled it and shared it with you guys. But this one, you get one wand and one eyebrow shaper. And this is in the color purple here. And it shows you there. This is really cute. I love the packaging of Sassy and Chic and would be cute in a gift like a little gift basket or something. Okay, I also got this uh, nail polish remover. This is definitely new. I've never seen them do it in this pump, spill proof pump lid before. Like what is happening? There we go. So awesome, but it did spill in my back. So make sure that yours is nice and tight because mine was not and it spilled everywhere but basically you just pop this lid up you can see it kind of has like this dip down in there i don't know if you can kind of see how it curves in but you just put in your cotton ball and then you push down and it soaks the cotton ball how cool is that you don't have to tip anything over so i guess that's where that spill proof is coming from but i thought that was pretty neat and new in my opinion i've never seen it at dollar tree before and your girl goes often then I finally found these. I have been looking for these egg containers for a hot minute. And I got two because I do like to keep about 24 eggs on hand in my fridge. And I think these are amazing. I can't believe these are a dollar at Dollar Tree. Just, the, just thinking about the container store kind of makes me 
um, have goosebumps because it's pretty expensive. So whenever you find anything like this at Dollar Tree, it's just a must. Not really, I mean, you, you know, it's not a must, but you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want something like this, I would rather buy it from Dollar Tree versus any other store that's gonna sell it for way more than a dollar. Here's another organization item. And what I love about these is you get three to a pack. They do have this in black. I've bought these before, but I'm gonna be doing an organization video like I mentioned earlier. Did I mention it earlier? Like I said, I filmed this so many times I don't even know anymore. But um, I think I did mention it for this one. Anyways, love the organization stuff and I'm happy to report that I found more of the Pottery Barn dupe bowls. Oh my gosh, I still have not found the plates. I'm not holding my breath for the plates. I just don't know if I'll ever see them again. And honestly, I'm shocked that I found the bowls. I got four more of these to add to my collection. And these are a dupe, in my opinion, to Pottery Barn. They definitely do the little um, detail. You guys told me what this was called in the last video. I forget what you guys called it. But um, anyway, I got four of those for the kitchen. And then... Let's get into some of the last items that will leave you leaving this video. I wouldn't be surprised if half of you got up, grabbed your purse and keys, and went to Dollar Tree. Okay, the first thing is this gift bag, which is beautiful because it just has this hello detail in gold foil. Very new, never seen this print at Dollar Tree before. The handle's really beautiful, and I love that it just says hello. Sometimes you can real Dollar Tree's like married, baby shower, or happy birthday. So whenever you find anything that is not that, I would definitely grab this and just store it away because you just never know. So I thought that was a great find. Then I found the cutest tote that we've ever seen at Dollar Tree. Oh yeah. Yeah, they did that. Uh, they gave us some pink. Peta? I always forget to turn my phone off and during my videos. And now I feel like I gotta keep leaving my ringer on because thinking that it's Peta every time is just, I don't know, it's so me, I guess. But this bag is gorgeous. I love every detail about this. The pink gingham background is so beautiful and I love that they did the side piping to match the shell of the bike. I thought that was really cool. And you guys know I love yellow, but I do have to say that if we didn't have yellow here at the bottom or the top, this bag would not be as beautiful as it is. I I really think the yellow just gives it that, that extra pop of springtime, summertime. And look at the baskets. What? absolutely adorable the flowers up front and then the side the side has polka dots oh my gosh this bag is everything and it was a dollar in case anybody is confused okay then let's get into um a new find i'm very excited and ta-da! so i got two of them they are just simple repositionable um, on foam board and poster board uh, poster stickers. But these are gonna be great for DIYs too. I will link a DIY where I used poster sticker numbers and you definitely gotta go check it out. I think it was my clipboard farmhouse DIY. What I love about these is that they're white but they have a black trim. So these you'll be able to actually put onto like a black product, so any sort of black basket, containers. This is definitely going to give you that um, option and really create even more farmhouse DIYs. So did you, did I haul those black buckets? Did I show those to you guys? I don't even remember, but at the time I was like, they don't do white sticker letters. And then literally a week later from that thought, here they are. I just, I just, you know what? I manifested that for everybody. So there you go. But these are a must if you're into DIYs and you're into farmhouse or just like the numbering or a command, a home command center. 
These are great. And they didn't stop there. I found some awesome peel and stick decals for the laundry room. Oh yeah, they did that. This one is one, sorry the camera's not, there we go. This is one entire sticker, so I wanna point that out. So wherever you were to put it, um, kind of like you see here, this is the same sticker. And I know that was kind of blurry there, but I am gonna be redoing my laundry room. But to my announcement, if you wanna see what that's gonna look like, that decorating will be on my vlog channel. Um, but you just peel this sticker and you have yourself a really beautiful, you know, I mean, just what? You could even, not even put this on a wall. You could maybe go to a thrift store and buy maybe like a piece or get like a piece of wood or something and then put this on top of the wood and then put mount that onto the wall. Really give it an additional like layering element and farmhouse. Am I squinting? Because uh, I'm really, I'm really into this. But you know what I'm trying to say there. And they didn't stop. This one is my favorite. So these are kind of like two pieces because essentially you could cut this, this apart from this. But here is this one that says laundry room. Really love it. You could even put this above the door, right? Like above the door entrance. That would be really pretty too. I love the text or the font style. The, the loopy loops, so pretty. And then this right here. Oh my gosh, I would probably put this on, you could frame this in a picture frame. I would probably put this maybe on top of a slab of wood piece or something, I don't really know, but super adorable. Sort tomorrow, wash later, dry soon, fold maybe, iron, get real. Those are actually incredibly, incredibly accurate. But I found this at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So I think, I think some of you have already exited out, but I hope you didn't because I'm about to shock you even more. I found some epic DVDs. Okay, first of all, Bad Boys. I found Bad Boys, the original on Blu-ray at Dollar Tree for $1. $1. I don't even think you would ever find that at Walmart. The lowest I think I've seen Walmart go is five bucks in that, like that huge tubby bin style that they do. One dollar. And I love this movie. They are hilarious. And I love Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence is my favorite, but Will Smith is hilarious too. Um, so I was just, I was, I, I could not believe this find. Then I found And So It Goes with Diane Keaton and Michael Douglas. I've actually never seen this movie, so it'll be the first time watching it, but I love Diane Keaton, so I said, I know I'm gonna love it. So I got that. And then here is a horror classic, but it's a remake of the classic movie called Carrie. So I'm not really into horror movies, but um, for whatever reason, I was like, I gotta get this, because it's a dollar. So. Got that, and this one is my favorite pillow talk. A classic. What? You've got Doris Day and Rock Hudson. Who remembers the episode on I Love Lucy with um, with the um, with their little quirks that they all can't stand about each other, like Lucy stirring her cup and Ricky doing this and Ethel being a loud eater and and Fred jingling, you know his. Jingle Bells tune. Rock Hudson is in that um, episode, which is hilarious, the story he tells. Anyhow, I found Pillow Talk on Blu-ray at the Dollar Tree. I, I could not believe it. Okay, and this actually, really, this above anything, I never expected this. This is a PlayStation 4 game. That's current. PlayStation 5, I did hear, is supposed to come out this winter. I don't know if it's going to be delayed or not due to Corona, but before Corona, there was talk that the PlayStation 5 is coming out this winter, this fall. So, but I found a PlayStation 4 game called Shadow of War. Middle Earth definitely has that Lord of the Rings vibe. Uh, Y'all, these games are not cheap. No, ma'am. 
No ma'am, they range from 30 to $50. And I just found it for $1. You know what, if I were ever to be on Prices Right, I'd probably be the person that bids $1 on everything just because I love Dollar Tree. And that's like a number that's just near and dear to my heart. You know what I'm saying? But this, this was epic. Epic finds in my opinion. But anyways, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I have been talking. You don't, I mean, you well, you've been here, but where, where am I going? I've been trying to film this video so many times. <laughs> So I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go. Hope that you guys enjoy. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.